have you heard about Snapdragon Satellite? My name's Lucy Hedges and I am here with Qualcomm in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress, where we'll be taking a deep dive into this newfangled form of communication. So I'm going to spend some time wandering around the booth, talking to visitors about satellite technology. And then I'm going to have a bit of a chat with Francesco Grilli, VP of Product Management for Qualcomm. So if you're excited as I am, let's go. Have you heard of Snapdragon Satellite? Not yet. I just heard it right now. And what have you heard? that you can get lost and then point your phone to the satellite and magically you get connectivity. What excites you the most about this new connectivity solution? I think it's, it's kind of broadly applicable. Mm. Uh, you can see how it's going to be really useful to lots of people, potentially get people out of dangerous situations. Well, I'm originally from Kenya, so the mm. idea that I could be in remote Kenya and I can send a message to someone anywhere in the world yeah. where there's no network, I mean, that's exciting for me. It's feel that like I'm connected no matter where I am. Do you have one burning question for Qualcomm execs? I would ask uh, how the Snapdragon satellite solution differentiates from others that are out there um, and when and where we're going we're gonna to see it in devices. Qualcomm's Snapdragon satellite has got to be one of the most talked about topics here at MWC 2023. So I'm joined by Francesco Grilli, VP of Product Management for Qualcomm, to dive deeper into this innovative new connectivity solution. So Francesco, how are you? Fine, thank you very much, Lucy. It's great to have you here. So, um, Snapdragon Satellite announced at CES, a really, really big bit of news, lots of excitement generated. So I guess a really great place to start is, how would you explain Snapdragon Satellite to the average, everyday person? Okay, very simple. So this is a, a, a feature that allows a regular phone to be able to send messages when you are outside of terrestrial coverage. So normally today, when you are out of coverage, your phone says no service and you cannot do anything with it over to communicate or to send messages. Now, with this feature, when you are outside of cellular coverage and you need to send a small message for whatever reason, um, now you may have the option on the device to send a message or even to receive a message through the satellite that will cover the whole globe, including the ocean and the poles and, uh, and uh, Antarctica. If there's no signal, tell me exactly how does it work? If there is no signal and you are out outdoor and you are trying to send or receive a message, typically you would act on, on the device itself. For example, if you are trying to make an emergency call and there is no signal uh, from any operator, then the user interface will actually guide you. Uh, I don't have any signal. Do you want to send an emergency message instead? If you say yes to that uh, question, then the device will actually um, guide the user to point toward the satellite. And, uh, and then the message can be sent or received in a few seconds. So this will obviously prove an absolute godsend in an emergency situation, exactly. but what are some of the other use cases outside of that? Our solution works, uh, unlike other solutions, works with a constellation of satellites which mm -hmm. are all interconnected with, with each other. So whenever we send a, a message to the satellite, the satellite will relay that message to another satellite, to another satellite, until yeah. it reaches a spot on, on, on Earth where there is a gateway, and, then, and from the, that satellite goes down to the, to the gateway on the ground, and then it will reach the destination. And, which means that a single gateway is able to provide the service everywhere in the world. Yeah. Other solutions require, uh, require essentially a gateway to be in the same area where the user is. So if the user happens to be in the middle of the ocean or in Antarctica, where there is uh, no such gateway normally, mm -hmm. uh, then they are out of luck, right? So it really is an exciting time for connectivity. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for taking the time thank to you. talk thank to you, me, Francesco. Lucy. A real pleasure. Thank well, you, Lucy.